Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and if you are a user of the stable version of Microsoft Edge, well, it is updated. It was updated last Friday, actually, but I didn't have time to talk about it. Microsoft Edge Chromium, the latest version, is now available. It should update automatically if you're using it or else. Just go into the upper right corner, the three horizontal dots help and feedback about Microsoft Edge. This will force its update to version 86. That adds a lot of features. One of them, of course, is security. Uh, there's now more um, uh, usage of and, and warnings of um, secure or HTTPS or using secure connections on the web. So that's one of the first things. If you're going to websites that don't have secure um, connections, it will tell you from within the address bar. The feature that you might find really nice, and I'm going to shut down here and start again, is your own personal background picture. Now available here. So how do you do this? It's simple. When you actually start Edge, you see usually the Bing page and the Bing background. Simply go into the settings of the page on the upper right. Here, go to custom and just choose your own image. And then you will actually go and download your own image from your hard drive. And this is going to be your um, own way of uh, customizing the background in Microsoft uh, Edge browser. If you are a PDF user uh, lots are happening now if there's a table of content it will now work you'll have the table of content information there's a lot of uh, added features for pdf viewers uh, that are slowly coming and creeping from uh, the other um, you know canary and dev channel you have now the ability to actually um, have a pen support for the highlighter on pdf files uh, improved PDF scrolling. People were complaining that the scrolling wasn't going that well. Well, now there's an improved scrolling. Uh, also, if you have a small screen, so um, PDF functionalities on small form factor screens uh, will now have the ability to have every types of features that were available even on the desktop with a big screen. So lots of little things like that that are really nice. Of course, uh, these are interesting um, new features because a lot of people are complaining that you know there's, it's still not up to par with the original edge on the PDF viewing if you are uh, using profiles some of you might want to use profiles to have different users with their different profiles within edge the uh, profiles now switch automatically depending on the uh, account and who's using it so this is also going to be something that is useful so the automatic profile switching works for Windows 7, 8, and 8.1 also, and uh, Windows 10, of course. So um, there's, of course, some uh, HTML5 applications and background stuff for developers that is in here that will uh, improve upon your usage of Edge for sure. There's now the new Downloads Manager, so when you actually download files the download manager will let you not only um, you know show in folder but you can also uh, delete files you can also clear all of course the information and the things of the deleted files by removing all the download history but you also have the ability to um, manage from here to download uh, remove a download from the disk so you can delete file for example here as you see directly from the uh, from the, the um, edge browser without having to actually go to the file explorer to do it so um, you now have also the ability if you want to use um, uh, the my whoops wrong edge the ability to use um, the um, Internet Explorer mode to uh, test websites. If you need to be in Internet Explorer mode, that will be available now here in your 
um, websites so you can actually um, if you absolutely need to be in that mode it exists in this newer version of edge it's mostly for enterprise because you know there's no really need to go to internet explorer mode basically um, you can uh, admins can actually revert back to an older version of edge so if there's some problem with the new edge admins now have the tool to actually uh, roll back to the previous version if something's wrong so there's a uh, little things like that that are kind of nice the rendering of course and uh, tweaking of how it performs in the background including speed and the battery usage and laptops and so on continues as we move ahead with the latest versions of edge browser if you enjoy our videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching